I really liked just being active. Growing up, I played soccer my whole life. I was on a competitive team. I played club in college. Same thing with basketball. Really anything active. I was a big skier. I enjoyed water sports, hiking, stuff like that. I was skiing with my friends at a mountain called Stratton. It's in Vermont. And I don't recall the day of the accident, but I was told I fell and then I woke up a few days later in a hospital in New Hampshire, Dartmouth Hitchcock Hospital, and told I was paralyzed from the neck down due to a C1 spinal cord injury. Rebecca was at Dartmouth Hitchcock um, in the ICU for two and a half weeks. There's a specialized spinal cord injury program. It's called a model program, and I think there's 14 in the United States. I was able to ride in the ambulance with her, and we went to Spalding Rehab in Boston, in Charlestown, Massachusetts, and she was there for four and a half months. We really had no place to go. Rebecca was not in shape to come back to New York and, and live with us, and there was no hospital that was equipped to take her, uh, that was willing to take her. Rebecca has a high spinal cord injury. She also has lost um, most of the feeling in her body really below her neck. Uh, so it is a really challenging injury. We reviewed uh, the information that was provided and uh, um, we concluded that we could help Rebecca uh, with her function, with her medical care, and uh, most importantly with uh, uh, getting home to her, her residence, being back in the community. Glen Cove was super ready and super prepared to take Rebecca, and she was met with like an army of people. We were met with an army of people that were so ready to take her. The assistant head nurse, she came up to me and gave me the biggest hug <sighs> and just held me, and she says, it's gonna be all right. Her care and loving was like that the whole four months. Every single nurse and doctor and they treated me like their own daughter, and they cared about me so much, they checked in on me, like, they really, really cared about how well I was doing. I guess we all kind of felt like she was like our daughter, you know? We just wanted to make her feel good because she'd been through so much for someone so young. We decorated her room like a dorm room, like, you know, someone her age would want. We really just wanted her to feel good. I think one of the most important things is that Rebecca has really taken charge of her care. She is really smart and she understands, uh, she has learned all aspects of how this injury has affected her and how she adjusts to it. One thing that was really special to me at Glencoe was the art therapy program because I would go every day to art therapy and I would look forward to going every single day and I would paint with them. They were young, they treated me like their friends and. They, they looked forward to me being there every day. and They would do anything I wanted, whether it was painting, making TikToks, making food, singing along to music. Like Every single day I did that, and I looked forward to it every afternoon. So that was a really important part of my rehab. They totally related to one another as far as you know, music, as far as style, and as you know, talking about boyfriends or social lives or going to this restaurant or going there. And, they just, you know, she clicked with them. Even though Rebecca looks awesome, right? She looks awesome. You have to remember she can't feel anything from the neck down and can't, you know, help herself or do things for herself. So when someone walks in and says, do you need anything? Can I get you something? That means the world. I can't imagine being so young and being so dependent on people. And I wanted to make her feel as comfortable as possible. And to be distracted if that's what she wanted. We talk about life and things that had nothing to do with my medical condition, which was nice. There was a day where it was my birthday and Lucy had come in on her day off to be there for my birthday. Like she really treated me like her own daughter. I've been a nurse for a long time and I've never had a connection this close to someone, but I wanted to take care of her. I actually wanted to help her in some way. And that's how I know how to help people is 
being a nurse and taking care of them. I know that uh, Rebecca is uh, going to find her path and find a path, and I uh, suspect that the world will be a, better, a little bit better of a place because of Rebecca, what Rebecca will do in the future. I just want to give everyone like a really big thank you for treating me so special and making me feel so important and so comfortable there. I know that no matter what happens that we can face it together because we've been through hell and back already. So no matter what happens after this, we can definitely handle it, all of us.